Welcome back to the Fuel Show. Still to come, we're going to be in the pits with Ty from Baxter Auto Parts. But it's now time to turn to our second behind the wheel, the 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid. This vehicle originally showed up in 2003. The second generation came out in 2005 with an increased horsepower to 93 and an increase in the miles per gallon, getting 49 in the city and 51 on the highway. This vehicle was Motor Trend's Car of the Year in 2006. And now Dennis and Ian take a first look at the 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid. The first category for the Honda Civic Hybrid is Q-Factor. It's the GADS or tech score, and obviously the motor has a lot to do with the Q-Factor. But well, we'll we get can to talk about that. Yeah, later. performance a little bit later. But overall, the Q-Factor has got to be pretty high. Our tester had the optional navigation system, the satellite radio, and the upgraded audio system with the auxiliary MP3 input. So a lot of bells and whistles for a Civic. Well, sure, and you can talk about those items. The navigation and audio system are absolutely one of the yeah. best in the biz. Very intuitive for the driver to almost instantaneously learn, and they're very easy to navigate. Which sounds kind of silly talking about a navigation system, but you can get through all the different systems very easily. Now, if you take those out, say that you bought one without all the extra bells and whistles, you still have so much technology wrapped into the vehicle that's there regardless if you get the upgrades. Things like the way that the dash is laid out so you can see the speedometer versus all the gauges instantaneously when you're going down the road. It's those little things that make it, you know, kind of come together. And Honda's always done such a good job with things like their advanced ABS systems. The steering system in this vehicle is tuned in so perfectly. Again, we might talk about that in performance, but for Q-Factor, it's going to be high whether that navigation system is there or not. So Ian, how are we going to score it? The Q-Factor for the Honda Civic Hybrid is 3.75. The next category for the Honda Civic Hybrid is curb appeal. It's how the car looks from the street. And the one thing I do like about this car as a hybrid is that it looks just like the regular gas motor version and that for me alone will give it a higher curb appeal. And I knew that's where you were going to go. The thing about the hybrids these days is luckily and we both dislike it is they've gone away from making it look like hey look at me I'm electric you know and it, I hate to steal Ian's line there but you know it, it's just it's so ridiculous that you try to make the car look different with fancy colors or big giant badges or just look altogether different than the regular lineup. Now, Insight. <clears throat> Sorry. That's okay, some insight <laughs> from my co-host. You know, the thing about the, the new generation Civic is there's a lot of strange angles, some very aggressive looking pieces on the front of the car. For me, I would say that it's maybe not my favorite Civic I've ever seen, but it definitely goes with the time as Honda wants to be at kind of the front of where their vehicle lineups are going. I think they've done a good job of making it look modern and basically with the times and what people want. And I think the buyers are looking at it for what are we going to score? Curb appeal for the 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid is 3.5. Performance is the next category for the Honda Civic Hybrid. And, well, it's a 1.3 liter four-cylinder that's mated with the IMA technology that Honda's made famous. Well, sure, and before you get the tar and feathers boiling up for me especially, we may not give it a score that you think is worthy, but I'm looking at it from a performance standpoint of zero to 60 times, braking, acceleration, these kind of things that really do come into that performance factor. Now, when we talk about drivability, you're going to see that score shoot up simply because of the IMA system. Now, you take that aside, I do have one little glitch I'm going to talk about. In performance, when you're talking about the hybrid technology, for some reason, there's that little lumpity dump, that little kind <laughs> of uh, hitch in the giddy up. I don't know what you want to call it, but the way that the engine shuts off and engages and disengages when it goes from an electric assist to just the gasoline motor, I don't want to feel it. And for some reason, I don't care what they've tried to do, I still feel that. It's annoying. I don't like it. Now, granted, we're talking about mileage. You're talking about a vehicle that can get upwards of 40 or 50 miles per gallon, and that should make the score high. But when we're talking about how it feels from behind the wheel, it's going to suffer. For overall score, we'll give the Honda Civic for performance a 3.25. The next category for the Honda Civic Hybrid is fit and finish. It's the overall build quality of a car. When you're talking about the room and comfort and convenience that is wrapped into a small sedan, nobody does better than Honda. Well, sure, and we've said it time and time again how well Honda puts their vehicles together. You know, we're not trying to be a little over the top with it, but there's a reason why people go back to the showrooms time and time again. It's almost as if they're on a tier level. When you look at things like maybe a Kia or a Hyundai, which are well-built vehicles, and don't take that the wrong way, but there is cars that are above them and look, you know, sort of in the pecking order, and Honda's one of them. The thing that I have to point out here is the way that when you're looking at Honda's 
you look at the whole family of automobiles, what's on a $65,000 Acura RL 3.5 is in a Honda Civic Hybrid, and that's what bumps the score up so high. They will always be there, but Ian, how are we going to score it? Overall, we'll give it a 4.5 for fit and finish for the Honda Civic Hybrid. Our final category for the Honda Civic Hybrid is drivability. It's the overall usefulness of a car. And you talk about the great fuel mileage, the roomy interior, and the great materials that are used to build this car. It's got to get a high score in drivability. And it should, and it will, based on the overall feeling of the two of us. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, I have a few things that I'll say that are positive. Definitely the way that everything works together seamlessly. I will definitely point out things like the available navigation system, the uh, great sound system in a small mm -hmm. car, and then you throw in things like the advantages of fuel mileage with the hybrid, the ecological advantage of not using so much of our reliance on fossil fuels, but the true cost, cost of ownership is the one thing that just doesn't pencil out for me. And again, don't get the tar and feathers ready for me. I, it's just a personal item of me. You know, I just want to see how the hybrids will affect long-term quality uh, as far as their in, impact in the automotive industry. For me, it might have been a little higher score if I can see how that pencils out. But how will we score it? We'll give it a 3.75 overall for drivability for the 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid. Let's see how Dennis and Ian scored the 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid. In Q-Factor, the tech or gadget score, they gave it a 3.75. In Curb Appeal, it got a 3.5. In Performance, what you find under the hood, it got a 3.25. For Fit and Finish, a 4.5. And finally, for Drivability, the overall usefulness of a vehicle, it got 3.75. The total score for the 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid was 18.75 out of a possible 25. When fuel returns, we're going to be in the pits with Ty from Baxter Auto Parts.